Hey, welcome back. This is Carlos Cavallo from DatingAdviceGuru.com with more of those secrets to unlock his heart and get into his head. Everywhere you go on the web, you see all these articles about how to satisfy men sexually, right? You'd swear these were all written by guys. Well, I'm gonna give you seven ways to satisfy your man everywhere you go, not just in the bedroom. Look, every woman wants that special trick, that thing to do in bed that makes his head spin, right? Well, there's more to it than that. Everyone says that foreplay really actually begins the morning you wake up, and that's the morning you know you wanna probably get it on again that night. Remember, the more you can connect your sex life to your love life, the happier the both of you are gonna be. So let's start with number one, you can satisfy him in the store. You know, you're out shopping or you're out looking for clothes. It could be at the grocery store even or the shoe store, wherever it is, always work your assets. The first way you can satisfy him is just to think about what draws his eye to you. Every woman has her particular asset, that go-to part of your anatomy that keeps him excited. So work it, bend over for that can of beans or buy that dress or try on a few dresses to keep his eye active and looking at you. Number two is to satisfy him in the kitchen. Okay, let's not lose it here, ladies. I'm not saying that you need to be relegated to kitchen duty day in and day out or always cooking for him. But if you know me and my work, you know that respecting our gender roles also helps when it comes to our relationships. And if you can satisfy his stomach, you're gonna win him over. As I say, the fastest path to his heart is through his stomach. And the best part about this one is you don't even have to really cook. You just have to know where to get that good food that he loves so much. Bring it home, have a, a eat at home dinner that will totally get him connected to you. Number three is to satisfy him in the living room. Sure, anybody can just make a mad dash to the bedroom, but you'd be missing out on what I call the waiting room of bliss. Most of the sexual experience for men is in the thinking about is she or is she not gonna give it to me tonight? Will she or won't she factor? It's that not knowing, the guy's not knowing if he's actually gonna get laid. So if you get him back to your place, take a few seconds out to delay him. Go into the living room, light up some candles, put on some music, and have a little bit of, uh, let's just say, forced foreplay. And it's this waypoint on the way to the bedroom that's gonna serve as a really great zone of foreplay. Satisfy him in the family holiday. This is number four. No, I'm not referring to sneaking off for a quick nooner in his brother's bedroom. Family get-togethers are stressful. It's another one of those places where you might be tempted to let yourself get really frustrated. I get it. But one of the best things you can do is just take that emotional burden off of him. If you got to deal with those relatives that you don't like and they're driving you crazy, just take a moment to step aside. Don't bring it to him, but just decompress somewhere else because him having to nurture and take care of both you and his own emotions dealing with his family, it's gonna drain his batteries down to nothing. And unfortunately, when his batteries go down to nothing, you don't get the nurturing you need. So the more you can help him avoid the intense nonsense of family holidays, the better. Number five, satisfy him before he thinks about the bedroom. Now this is where you can start to spark that sexy vibe right from the very first moment you wake up. Just send him a little text in the morning, kind of a thinking of you text early in the day to get things going. And you just wanna structure it in a way that says, look, I sent this, you don't need to reply to me and I'm not being needy. This is not my cry for validation. Because a lot of guys do look into it and read into it, and if they feel like you're pressuring them or you're a little needy, it can turn them off. So just make it lighthearted and almost like a little throwaway text you did on the way out the door. Something like, hey, hot stuff, don't think about me running my hands up and down your body. TTYL, talk to you later. Number six, satisfy them on the way to the bedroom. Hey, who says you have to make a mad dash into the bed, right? Stop in the hallway, maybe uh, you know, make him sit down in the chair in the corner of the bedroom as you do a little bit of a dance for him, whatever it is. But again, the more times you can pause and delay on the way to doing the horizontal bop, the better it is because it's, best, it's the best kind of foreplay. It's the kind that we guys really enjoy. Remember, if you've established a good connection with your man, you should have established a good safe zone around you that keeps you both feeling comfortable. So you shouldn't have to worry about rejection or feeling uh, ignored or neglected in any way. You should always feel safe in your bedroom. Number seven is satisfy him in the bedroom. Yeah, come on, I know that's why you came here. You wanna know what it is you do that, that best tip, that best trick you can do, the Watusi maneuver that makes him love you forever. Now these are what I call the superficial tricks. These are the things you think you can do physically that's going to make a deeper emotional connection. Don't fall into this trap. Every healthy person realizes you can get the easy win if you just put in a little bit of effort. Just find out what already turns him on and work that in the bedroom. It's one of the best ways you can really spin his head in the bedroom. 
Another great way is just start without him. You know, maybe he's lying in bed watching something, uh, Netflix on his iPad. Why not get a little busy under the covers while you're waiting for him? Guys love it when women self-pleasure because it shows a little bit of initiative and it's a great turn on. And yeah, talk a little dirty with him. I know that's not the most intuitive thing to do with a guy, but that's why I actually put in special bonuses in my programs for talking dirty to guys so women can feel comfortable doing it. You never have to get raunchy. You only have to get sexual. It's just the tone. It's the attitude that makes a guy turned on by dirty talk. What he's looking for in the attitude is things like desire, sincerity, comfort, uh, acceptance that you're accepting of him, and pleasure that he's giving you the pleasure that you really want. And there's obviously so many love barriers you have to cross to get into a man's heart. And I've got a free presentation for you that goes into detail about those very same love barriers. Go on over to datingadviceguru.com forward slash true romance. That's datingadviceguru.com forward slash true romance. Hey, you've got enough barriers with a guy not talking to you, not sharing his feelings with you, and there's a way around that. Go on over and watch the presentation. Go over to datingadviceguru.com forward slash true romance. And I'll be talking again soon. This is Carlos Cavallo from datingadviceguru.com.